Hello guys, Mike here from Icy Shades. In this one we will do a thousand gamer score for Sable. Sable is an exploration game in which your character searches across vast deserts, mesmerizing landscapes, spaceships and wonders for a fitting rite of passage mask. I will walk you step by step through the game for a full walkthrough. In the first part we will be focusing on getting the masks, in the second we are going to talk about other achievements doing recaps if necessary and in the third we will get the eggs and finish the game. Along the way we will collect eggs to increase our stamina, scraps and other items for money and open chests also for money and for the 40 chests achievement. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and with all of that out of the way let's dive in. You will start the game in Ewer in the temple and you will learn the controls and reach the Ibex camp. You will talk to Jaddy, he will give you the compass and he will tell you to talk to Hilal and Driss. Start with Driss and do the bike quest. Ride through the gate and talk with him again. Next is Hilal who will give you the gliding stone. Grab the bike and go to the temple. Climb. Go through this mini canyon. And activate your stone. Now you can glide. And also you can get your first chest, some money aka cuts in this game. Go back to Hilal and he will instruct you to go to Sizo. Climb the tower. On the left you can find the chest. And on the right is Sizo. He will give you the navigator and ask for three bike parts. For the calibrator go west. Enter the spaceship. Push the button and listen to the message. When you exit, Simon will appear and ask for a beetle. Go on the other side of Ewer. And start to climb. Eventually you will reach the area between the rocks. Climb the plant and knock over a fruit. The beetle will begin to eat the fruit and then you will take the beetle and the got your nose achievement will pop. Do this three times and return to Ibex. You can teleport from the map. Jump down from the bridge leading to Hilal's house and get a calibrator from Saima. If the child isn't here, wait for him. Inside the cave you can find another chest, no money this time. You can teleport again to reach your bike faster. Next the power supply is south. Start from this. You have to climb, a lot. Just follow my path. and eventually get the power supply. Here you can also get your first egg and return to camp. The control panel is the last one and you have to go east for it. Climb some stairs. Open a big door. Jump and glide. Put a little power supply in its spot. Enter, make a left and get your item.
Climb this ladder. Jump glide and grab the wall to get to an upper level and get an egg and also a chest. Get out and glide down to get another egg. Back in the camp, reach Cizo and he will ask you to assemble your bike. Interact with each part. Then press the button and see more on achievement pops. Talk to him again to finish the quest and get your first badge, a mechanist badge. Speak to Jaddy and then go to Cizo's tower, jump and glide to get to Jordan and get the map for 50 cuts. Go past Hilal's house and get another egg. Go back to Jadi, talk to him and then go to the temple. You will need to press down three platforms, one going right, and then back to the initial position climbing the ladder. One left. And for the third one, start climbing from the ground. Finish the ceremony, you will get the Ibexi mask and head back to camp. Call your bike and leave Ewer. The just the two of us achievement will pop. First off, let's get the map for Sansi. The area that we are in now. Put the marker here, A button, and drive. You can check with LB to see if you are going in the right direction. You will see a balloon and when you reach it, start to climb. Talk to the cartographer, ask can I buy a map and buy it. We will leave the badge for now. Now we will make our way to Burnt Oak Station. Put a marker or follow the objective from the quest. We will get two eggs here, one on top of the tent. And one near the fence. We now have six. Southeast from Burnt Oak Station is Chum Lair. Mark her and get the bike. We can also get a chest. In the cave we will meet Queen Chum and she will ask for 5 eggs. We have 5 already so we will give them to her. The Chum Novice Achievement pops. Also, our stamina increases from her tier. That means more climbing and we will need it to finish the game. Travel back to Burnt Oak Station. We need three badges specific to a profession in order to get the mask for that profession. We will start with the mechanist as we already have the first badge from Cizo in the prologue. Talk to Utari, the mechanist, to finish the quest and to get another one. He will want us to go here at the wind tower. You can teleport to the balloon is closer to the wind tower. When you teleport to a high place, the bike will be on the ground somewhere close by. Start to climb from the right giant rock, like this. And jump glide to get to the second one.
After you cross the bridge, on the right you can get an egg. Get the chest, then go back. Cross a bridge. Jump on this balcony to get a chest and a piece of clothing. Back inside, up the ladder. Outside again. And another bridge. At the top, release the boulder and the up on high achievement will pop. Fall down to get another piece of clothing from a chest. Back to Burn Oak Station, talk to Utari to get the second mechanist badge. We will then go to Seven Sister Station in Hakwa, the southwest region. Teleport to Chump's Lair. Put the marker and go. We will pass the bridge of the betrayed. And reach your destination. We have an egg here on the left. And then fall down and talk to Zahra. He will give us the lightning in a bottle quest. Put a marker here, the cartographer for Hakwa. If you can't find your bike, try teleporting in the camp, Seven Sister Station, to reset the location. We will see the balloon but start to climb from the other side. Reach your first circle and search for a chest, 100 cuts, nice loot. Second circle and second chest. As you make your way to the top from the third circle, you can find an egg standing on the lightning crystal. Talk to the cartographer and if you are following this guide, this will be our 10th NPC that we talk to, so the gift of gab achievement will pop. The achievement states 15 but it pops at 10. And by the map, leaving the badge. Marker. Reset the bike's location and row to Crystal Plateau. The place is up ahead and we will start the climb on the right. Go up on a building
what you just saw was the pillar losing the crystals. Lightning will struck after almost one minute and the crystals will come back. Jump on them and collect one. Gliders on the storm achievement pops. We need to get three. You can get more than one in a run. Back to Seven Sisters Station. Talk to Zahra and get the third Mechanis badge. You can do this in any station, but I made a habit of doing it in Burnt Oak Station. Climb the small hill and give the Moss Caster the three badges and he will give you the Mechanis Mask and the Mechanis Mask achievement will pop. Go to Marrowbone Station which is here in the Wash, the southeast region. You can go to the Wind Tower and start from there. Before we reach the city on the left we will see the balloon, so let's get the map first. This will be a little trickier to climb. Start on this dune. Climb this mushroom like rock. Jump and glide and now make your way up. Stop on the rock before the last one, jump and climb. We can't climb from the last one for some reason. Reach the cartographer and buy the map, again leaving the badge alone. The skeleton right there surrounds the Marrow Bone Station, our destination. In the camp, talk to Kalan and get the quest. You will have to go to the watch and do the puzzle. We already have a marker from the quest, but we will put one ourselves. We can get two butterflies from the entrance and sell them later for cuts. And another one here. Eventually reach the main room and go up circling it. We will activate the mechanism here and then go to three spots to rotate the spheres. First one here, rotate until the sphere goes blue, aka sits in the right position. In our case, one interact on the left. Second here, the same, one interact left. And third, two interacts left. Jump down here and if it is night, you will have to wait for the sun. If it's already daytime, grab the sun-like item from the middle and put it in the spot that has the same symbol as the one lightened by the sun, in our case the beetle. The ceiling of stars achievement will pop. Go through the door that just opened and investigate the artifact. When you finish reading, choose the I think I am done option. Jump down to open the chest and get a piece of clothing. Back to Marrowbone Station, talk to Kalan and get another Mechanist badge. We actually didn't need this one, but we had the achievement in the watch. In Burnt Oak Station, we will start a quest for the Beetle Mask. Talk to Ifa in the tent. You will get a quest and you will have to go to Hercules Beetle Nest, 
That is south. As you go in, you will encounter a big beetle and get the nesting giant achievement. You can go left here to read about how to make the beetle move and get a chest. Back at the beetle, you will climb here and then climb on this building and get this plant. You will get it near the beetle. The beetle will follow you and get out of the way. If it doesn't move, restart the game. I happen to experience that bug. Go inside the tunnel and get your first larva. Up here, you can find a second larva and an egg. Back in the center room, climb here to get another larva. Climb some more. Fourth larva. Jump down here to open a chest and get an orange winged beetle from it. A hard place achievement will pop. Go back to climbing. Another larva. and from the top, jump to get an egg. Back in Burnt Oak Station, Ifa will give you the beetle badge and you will get the badge hobbyist achievement for getting 5 badges, 4 mechanist and 1 beetle. Ifa also gives you another item but we will deliver that a little bit later. In Seven Sister Station, we will talk to Afi and get the next beetle quest. We will teleport to the balloon and our destination is just on the right. Enter the building and you will find an egg in the corner. Jump down and swim. Another egg on a pillar. Now we will grab a fruit, put it down and jump on the back of the beetle that just opened and the beetle will poo. Take the poo and the squeeze one out achievement will pop. Do this three times and return to Afi in Seven Sister Station and get the second beetle badge. In Marrowbone Station, also in the tent, we will talk to Ofu. Teleport to the balloon. Get your bike. You can also check the location of the bike with the compass, the blue and white symbol. And go far northeast. Climb the plant and knock down the fruit. Take the fruit to a hard surface and make sure a beetle is nearby. Put the fruit down and get some distance. The beetle will come to it. Run to the beetle and he will get stunned as he tries to go underground through the hard surface. Grab it and do this two more times. If you have gotten the orange winged beetle from Hercules beetle nest, you will only need one and also if you haven't, then the a hard place achievement will pop here. Back to Marrowbone Station, talk to Ofu for your third beetle badge. And then go to the mask caster in Burnt Oak Station and get the beetle mask and the beetle mask achievement.
Next is the guard mask. In Burnt Oak Station, talk to Elizabeth, the guard. She will tell you to meet her at the Bridge of the Betrayed. First, go here and get the map of the Badlands, the area where the bridge is. So teleport to Chum Lair and ride the bike. The marker is set at the start of our climb. We will climb on those bones. Jump here and glide. Some more bones, some more climbing. an egg and finally the cartographer with the map. The bridge is here so we will ride. Start climbing on the side of the bridge that doesn't have the two statues. Find an egg. Climb some more. Get a chest. Climb in the first tower. Get another chest. Get a second egg. Climb the second tower and find Elizabeth. She will give us our first guard badge. Jump on the other side. Make a right and a left. Left again and open the chest with a piece of clothing. Go back and climb some more to get another egg. Up on the hill, circle the bridge, and get another chest. Go to Marrowbone Station. Elizabeth will be here with another quest. Teleport to the balloon and jump glide in the forest. Search for any more plants and because it's not night time they will be closed. They will open at exactly 2200 hours. Grab one, throw it, and the Fragile Goods achievement will pop. Don't throw it like me in a wall, you won't be able to get the butterflies. Throw it on the ground and get three butterflies. Back in Marrowbone Station, Elizabeth will give us the second guard badge. We have a quest Remnant of Change that requires us to go to Ikaria. It is from Ifa when we got our first beetle badge. We will use that to get to Ikaria and we will start in Burn Oak Station. As we reach a jungle-like area we will see the balloon and of course we will go to it and get the map for Red Sea. So climb. Go through this door. Get a chest. Another chest. Circle and climb, circle and climb.
the Sticky Paws achievement for climbing 500 meters. Buy the map and leave the badge. Grab the bike and continue to Ikari. Go left and go on the bridge. As you enter, we will encounter Sandip, who has a quest for us. He will give us the broken atomic heart power core and will want us to deliver it to Hamza and ask around the city for the thief. Go to Hamza. Tell him that we have a delivery, then you will have an irrelevant choice. Then tell him I have some questions about the power cut and who do you think did it. We will get Iria as a suspect. Ok, I'm done and goodbye. It takes some time for him to repair the power core. We will go outside and make a left. Grab a pomegranate. We go back and on our way to Hamza we make a left and then a right. Grab a chest. Go to the guard and tell him you need to speak with Iria and then offer him a pomegranate. Go through the door and find Iria. We will choose the first option and then who do you think did it? Climber Gary added to the suspects. Ok, I'm done here and goodbye. Back to Sandip, he will give us the Atomic Heart keycard and the repaired Atomic Heart power cord. Grab the bike from outside and go to this location. One egg before we enter. Insert the keycard and grab some scraps from the right side. If you have grabbed every chest I did, then the more than a box of sand achievement will pop for opening 20 chests. Grab an egg here. Go up through a tunnel. Go right and get 3 more scraps. Another chest. 2 more scraps. And another egg. Jump down, interact with the broken glass. Jump through the broken window, interact with the feathers and then interact with the empty socket and install the core. The power to the people achievement will pop. Back in Ikaria, talk to Sandip, choose any options first and then make an accusation and accuse Climber Gary. Take that achievement pops. You get the third guard badge and also the badge collector achievement for collecting 10 badges. 4 mechanist, 3 beetle and 3 guard. In burnt oak station at the mask caster, get the guard mask and the guard mask achievement. You will also get the many different faces achievement for collecting 5 masks, child, ibexi, mechanist, beetle and guard. If you have followed the guide, you now have 15 eggs and can go back to chum lair and trade them for stamina. It's enough to cover the masks and the other achievements. I think 5 would have been enough, but better safe than sorry. We won't stop for eggs anymore, but of course you are free to take them anytime and increase your stamina even more to make the game less difficult regarding the climbs. Just to get it out of the way, go to Ikaria and finish a quest. You will receive 100 cuts. We will get the climber's mask next, and for this we need the mechanisk mask for the last batch. First, go in Badlands here. Teleport to Hercules Beetle Nest and make your way.
Zainia will start to talk to you and then we start to climb. Jump on the yellow box, wait for the other one and jump on that too. One scrap here. Again yellow box. A small chest here. One more scrap. Jump and glide for some more scraps. Yellow box and stay on this side and jump to the other one. At the top, Zanya will give you the climbing badge and one more scrap. If you got all the scraps I did, you should have 22 by now. Next, teleport to Ikaria and go northwest. You will find a small camp. And a guy named Bashir will ask for help. You have the objective on your compass, follow it. Reach the thieving magpie well. Jump down and talk to Micah. He will give you a key. Start climbing. And after you cross the wood bridge, you will find a door. Open it with the key and pull the lever. Climb all the way to the top. and pull another lever. Talk to Micah and he will give you the second climbing badge. For the last badge you have to go to the last area of the game, Sodic Waste, the northeast area and also you must have the mechanist mask. Put the mark here and teleport to the cartographer in Red Sea. As you enter the Sodic Waste you will see the balloon and you will go there for our last map of the game. You have to go past the balloon and climb from here. The bubble up achievement pop for gliding 1500 meters. Finally the cartographer and buy the map. From here you will go to this spot. Circle a little bit and enter from this spot. Talk to Zebi and get the quest. Climb here. Jump glide to the gazer and wait.
climb some more like this. To find another geyser. As you reach the max height, glide to Dylan. This is where I also got the Silver Tongue Sable achievement for talking to 30 NPCs. Put a mechanist mask and go to this geyser. Be careful and land near the bird. It will fly away because you have the mask and you will get the eggs. Go back to Dylan for the climbing badge. Teleport to Burn Oak Station. And the mask caster will give you the climbing badge and the climbing badge achievement. You will also get the wrapping up achievement for collecting 6 items of clothing. Apparently all the items of clothing that we collected didn't count, but the masks did. For the entertainer's mask you need to do 3 quests all in Ikaria. Tej on the docks will want a flower. The flower is up on a rock in the water. Swim. Get on this rock with the help of the pillar. Climb in the tree. And jump light. Back to Tej to get your first entertainer's badge. From the main gate, make a left and three kids here will want to play hide and seek. Find them each. For the first one, go straight ahead and make a right. Second one, go back, left, right and he will be there. And for the last one, climb here. You will find him and get the second entertainer's badge. From the bridge, right, then right again to find Sharvarna. You will get the last quest to find Ilhor. Go to Burn Oak Station and ask Ifa about Ilhor. Go to Marrowbone Station and ask Ofu about Ilhor. And go to Seven Sister Station and ask Afi about Ilhor. Teleport to the balloon in the sodic waste. Jump glide like this. And start to climb. You will find Ilhor in this cave with your third entertainer's badge. You can return to Varna and finish the quest if you want. In Burn Oak Station, the mask caster will have the entertainer's masks for us and the entertainer mask achievement. Next we will talk about how to make money, get a scrapper mask and do the reconnection quest achievement. We have two ways to make money. The first and maybe the fastest way is in the forest near the balloon in the wash. You have to wait for the night and search for new more plants. They glow. When you find one, you can grab it three times and smash it. Each one will give you two butterflies and each butterfly sells for 30 cuts. I got like 49 in almost 5 minutes. The other way is to gather scrap and sell it to the Scrapper Altin in Burn Oak Station. He will also give you the Scrapper badges for this and you will get the mask after. 
The best places to get scrap is from iron structures and we already have some from the atomic heart and Campbell's cube and we will get more from abandoned ships. The ships look like this and the good news is that when we solve puzzles in those ships we will also get achievements for each leading to the reconnection quest and achievement. So let's get to this one here in Sansi near Burn Oak Station. We will enter through the left as we reached it. Crunch. Climb. Climb some more. Get a scrap and the battery. Hook the battery, jump down and enter this door. Get the battery from the corner and hook it up until you can cross. Cross. Get the scrap, push the button. Get the battery and hook it up to the other slot. The Don Boyan achievement pops. Go to the hologram and read the message. Next in Red Sea, Southwest. We will teleport to the balloon. This one is a little high between some rocks so you will have to climb a bit. Crouch and go up to find a chest. Crunch again and one more time for the puzzle room. Get scrap from the right and get the battery to its spot. Go up another scrap and get the second battery and put it on the platform that rises. Get another scrap and go up. Get another scrap and one more. Push the button when the battery is in the air to make it fall on the platform and take it. Open the last door and the bulb from connection achievement will pop. Read the message from the hologram and get some scraps. In the Badlands, southeastish again. We will teleport to Campbell's Cube. Enter through the engines crouching. Get a scrap. Go up and through the door. Scrap from right. Put the battery here. Go in the back, another scrap and another battery. Jump with it and put it here. Put another scrap. Jump. 
and gain the scrap. Apparently this also counts as a chest, as in the 40 chest achievement popped. Use the first platform like this to get to the third battery. Jump with it. Go down and get the first battery and put it in this spot. Go back up Use the platform Grab a scrap and open the door. The rollways achievement will pop. Read the message and get to scraps. In Hakwa, the ship is east. We will teleport to the balloon. Enter through the side. Trap at the entrance. Get the battery from the corner and put it in the first slot, just enough for the big queue to come out. You will see why. Then take the battery to the other slot. Get the one down here and put it in the slot right next to it. Jump up and glide to get another battery. Jump with this battery. Get the scrap. Throw the battery here. Get the other scrap and put a battery in the left slot. Get the one close to the door we came from. And jump with it. Put it in the right spot and the shadow of Neve achievement will pop. Read the message and get the scrap. In the wash, the ship is southwest, so teleport to Marrowbone Station. To Marrowbone Station. Enter through the engines. Get the scrap and climb here and wait for the yellow box. Put the battery in the first slot, platform aligned. Third one, platform parallel. And leave it in the fourth. Scrap. Second scrap. And the chest. Take the battery to the second slot. Grab another scrap. And jump using the moving platform. Enter the room and the center of Brunswick achievement will pop. Read the message and get another scrap. Last ship in Sodic Waste, Northwest. Teleport to the balloon and get the bike. Enter from the side.
climb. Scrap. Scrap. Door. Scrap again. Crouch. And scrap some more. Twice. Eventually, reach the big room. Grab the battery. Put it in the spot on the right. To get the yellow box in that position. Put the battery in the left spot and cross to get the other battery for the left door slot. Take this one out when the yellow box is in the middle. And do the same with the middle slot slash box. Climb and jump. And put the last battery in the slot. Frelix Pillar achievement will pop. Read the last message and let's head to the whale. The whale is the big red thing in the south of Red Sea. You will teleport to Seven Sister Station. You can actually see it as we start our ride, the big whale. Enter and make a left. Climb. And make a right. Grab some trap. Some more scrap. And enter the room. Interact with the hologram and the two doors will open and the amateur historian achievement box for completing the historical reconnection quest. You can grab some bike parts. Another scrap and some clothes. Back in Burnt Oak Station, we can count 104 scraps. We will go to Alton, sell the scraps, and get around 1500 cuts. And the three scrapper badges. Go to the mask caster and claim the scrapper's mask. And get the scrapper's mask achievement. Now that we have money, let's get the cartographer's badges and then the mask. Cartographer in Sansi, buy the badge. In Red Sea, buy the second badge. And in the Badlands, buy the third. As a side note, these badges don't count towards the collection of badges achievements. Burnt Oak Station again and get the mask from the caster. And also the cartographer's mask achievement. Next is the merchant badge. Travel to Ikaria and if you haven't done this, make a left as you exit the city. And grab the pomegranate fruit. Give the guard the fruit and enter to Iria. Ask her how do I get merchant's badges. 
and I like to buy and buy all three. If you can't buy them, I have encountered this bug, just sell something and then you will be able to buy them. Back at Burnt Oak Station, the caster will give you the Merchant Mask and the Merchant Mask Achievement. That's it for the masks, let's get the other achievements. We need to get 6 and then 12 items of clothing and for some reasons the ones that we got from chests across the world don't count. But the ones that count are the masks. So when we collect mask number 6, the wrapping up achievement pops. Since then we collected 4 more masks. So we will only need to buy 2 items of clothing. In Marrowbone Station, we will do that. But the achievement won't pop. We will then go to Ikaria and buy one more. And then the playing up dress achievement popped for 12 items of clothing. Probably the cartographer's mask didn't count towards the achievement and the logic is that the cartographer's badges don't count towards achievements as well. Next, let's get the bike parts. We got 3 parts from the beginning of the game and we also got 3 parts for finishing the historical reconnection quest. But we still need 14. In Burntog Station, we can buy 3 cheap parts from the merchant, 75 each. In Marrowbone Station, we can buy some expensive parts from the merchant, 250 each. As we pass 10 parts, the Buy Collector achievement pops. This is where I ran out of money and using the fast way that I described earlier, I got the rest. In the wash, go to the forest at night and smash the Nemo plants. When you find one, you can smash it three times. Two butterflies each smash, 30 cuts per butterfly, so 180 cuts per find. I've got almost 50 in less than 5 minutes. So even if you haven't done the historical recognition quest, you will have money to buy all of them. When you have all the butterflies that you need, head to Ikaria, sell the butterflies, and buy the remaining 8 parts. The bike aficionado achievement pops for the 20 bike parts. If you are still missing parts, there is another line of products in this shop, but it was too high to be shown. And you also can buy 3 parts from the mechanist in 7 sister station. In Ekaria, buy from the merchant the speedster bike set. Burnt Oak Station. If you go to any mechanist, you can customize your bike. And after you do, the Under the Hood achievement will pop. Equip the Speedster bike set. Go to the Wind Tower. You will ride the bike towards the wash and try to launch yourself from those dunes. It was a little sketchy but the bikes don't fly achievement pop. But I think going back like this is a better solution. For the glowworm, teleport to the balloon in Hakwa and go southeast. You will find the lava waterfall.
go in and swim. In the cave, we find a lot of rocks somewhere on the right. Throw them down. Throw a rock in the lava and it will start to make some smoke. Grab the rock and stay with it under some glow worms. They will fall and you will collect them. The smoked out achievement will pop. If you go to a high place like the balloon in Badlands and jump and don't glide, you will get a not that kind of glide achievement when you reach the ground. If you talk to 10 people, not 15 as the achievement states, the Gift of Gab achievement pops. In our playthrough, we got this achievement when we talked to the cartographer in Hakwa. If you talk to 30 people, the Silver Tongue Sable achievement will pop. Again, in our playthrough, this happened when we talked to Dylan. There are more people to talk to, especially in Ekaria. You have to open 20 chests and then 40. The chests can be this ones, this ones, the large ones, the small ones, even the scrap ones, as you saw the more than a box of sand achievement for 20 chests popped after a scrap box, and even the scraps that we find on the floor. The treasure tracker achievement popped for 40 chests after we got a scrap. So as a recommendation for these achievements, scraps are in abandoned ships, chests can be found in towns and in ships as well, and if you want more you can go to the whale because we didn't explore it as much in our playthrough. You get the sticky pose achievement after climbing 500 meters, the bubble up achievement after gliding 1500 meters, The big spender achievement after spending 1000 cuts. And the dune racer achievement for riding the bike 50 kilometers. For the agent race achievement, we first have to go to 6 red spots, one in each region. First in Sansi, find the temple and the four gates and ride your bike through the gates. The temple will rise from the ground and as this is the first one, the thread the needle achievement will pop. Go in the temple and get the Hikari Ring artifact. Next in the wash. Badlands Hakwa Red Sea and Sodic Waste.
then go in the Badlands in this location. You can teleport to Hercules Beetle Nest. You will reach the shrine and you have to put all the rings in their spot. The mechanist will tell you to come back in a couple of game days. When you return, he will be outside the shrine and the quick and the curious achievement will pop. In the wash, go to this location. You will find a giant worm and you will start to climb it. Take it step by step. When you get to the top, be careful, jump and glide in the worm's mouth. Pull your bike the Y button but directly towards this thing right here. Grab the item and put it in a small pool. Jump and if it closes, do that again here and jump once more. The gastric bypass achievement will pop. If you want, you can finish going through the whole worm or teleport. Let's get the eggs and build a queendom. When you collect an egg, you will see that symbol on the map. We will try to get them taking into account the difficulty, so we will start with easier ones when we have low stamina and move to difficult ones when we increase our stamina. We need 100 and we will get 106, so you can skip some if there are some areas that happen to bug you. The queen will ask for 5, then 15 and 4 batches of 20 eggs, each time with a stamina upgrade. We will deliver each time after we pass the requirements, so even if we miss some, aka don't want to get that, the trip won't be in vain. Also, as a side note, there are probably more than that in the location that we will cover, and surely more than that in the world. We will start with the abandoned ships. In the Dun Boyne, we will find four eggs. The one a little south is on the rock. And the other three in a pipe on the side. In a pipe near the engines. and inside the ship in a corner. Center of Brunsnik, three eggs. As you wait for the yellow box to move, jump and glide here. One is on the wing, so you have to climb these bones to reach it. And the last one is on the other side, this time on the bones. After these ones, we can go to Chamlair. Meet the queen and give her five eggs. The Cham Novice achievement will pop. And our stamina will increase. Next is Rollways Way, four eggs. One in the back, you have to enter. And then exit here. One underneath. One in front of the ship. And one a little further in a pipe. Shadow of Neve, three eggs. Back of the ship outside.
inside of the ship in a pipe. And in the ship, middle engine. Ball front connection, three eggs. One on this iron mini bridge. And two inside. Use the cube to get the first one. And then the other one is in the next room. Last ship, Threlix Pillar, two eggs. Back of the ship in a pipe. And in front of the ship. We will move to Hercules Beetle Nest. This one is in the building. You have to get in through a secret entrance. This one is in the cave. And this one from the top jump and glide. We will find four eggs in Campbell's cube area. As you climb, there will be an egg on a small pipe. At the top, one more. And for the other two, you will jump from the top. One is on that big rug in a pipe. And the other one on the small wing. We have a total of 26, so we can go to Chamlair and get our second stamina upgrade. Wind tower with four eggs. This one is at the bottom of the rock that holds the tower. This one on the other side, just before the bridge. After we cross the bridge on the right, we will find another one. And the last one we will get by jumping from the highest point where we release the boulder. The balloon in Red Sea, three eggs. One is above here, climb from behind. And the other two we will jump for them. Here. And then here. In a carrier we will find eight eggs. Four south. Starting from the entrance, we have one on the pillar left of the bridge. One up here in the east of the city. One close to the small lake on the roof. And one in a sewage. Four north. East edge of the lake. Rock on the lake.
and rock on the lake again. And west of the lake on another rock. We have a small village near Ekaria and we can find one egg on top of a long ladder. In the atomic heart we will find four eggs. One on the pipe. Two inside. And we have one more on the pipe right here. With a total of 46, we can get the third stamina from the Chamlier. Bridge of the Betrayed, 6 eggs, 4 on this side. As we climb, we will get one here on the side. When we reach this area, we have one more here. From the second tower, jump and glide to the third. And jump and glide for the fourth one from here. And two on this side. One is close to the end of the bridge. And one after you get to the top of the rock, jump and glide. In Seven Sister Station, we can find one egg on a rock in a camp. At the balloon in Hakoa, we can find one on the first circle on the roof. and one on a lightning crystal as you climb from the third circle to the cartographer. East of the balloon in Hakua, we will find a building and we can find three eggs. As you enter the building, there will be an egg on the statue. In the second room, in the corner, there is another one. And after you jump down and swim, you will find the third one on a vertical rock. We can find one egg at the balloon in Badlands, on a small rock just a level under the cartographer. At the mysterious shrine, we can find one egg on top of it. At the worm, three eggs. Look around as you climb and you will see an egg on a mushroom-like rock. One egg on top of the worm. And the last is in the worm's mouth. In Marrowbone Station, we will find three eggs. Start climbing from the back of the bones, and you will find it at the top. Another one as you glide down on a vertical rock. And the last one in a small animal shelter. We have a total of 66. 
At the Cham Lair, the Queen will receive 20 more eggs and we will get the honorary Cham achievement for bringing her 50 eggs. And the fourth stamina upgrade. We have 6 eggs close to the balloon in the wash. Let's get this 4. Jump down here for the first. In the engine, the second. Jump and glide for the third like this. Jump down here for the next. For this one you have to jump and glide, it's on a pillar. And this one is a little further away on a dune. Far north of the balloon we have one more. You have to climb these bones from the back. We have 12 in Ibex. Let's start south. This one is on top of the rock where we got the power supply. This one here is on the rock. We are facing the spot from the previous egg. The next one is in the boat. Just jump down. A little east on the left before we enter the temple where we got the gliding ability. In the canyon up here between some ruins in the city as you pass Hilal's house this is the place where we got the beetles one egg is on top of the structures and one down here Place where we got the control panel, outside on a rock. As we leave the room with the control panel, climb the ladder for the second egg. Left from the same room. And climb for the third. Outside Ebex we have one in the tower. We have here a nameless rock and we will find 4 eggs. This one is outside on a vertical rock. And for the other 3, one on top. And 
and two down in a cave. We have 90 now, so Cham layer again and 5th stamina upgrade. Next, burn oak station, 3 eggs. One on the tent. One near the fence. And one on some rocks. Thieving magpie well, 4 eggs. In the well, upper level, jump from the platform. Lower in the well, we have another one. For the third, we have to climb a rock next to the well. And for the fourth, climb some more, jump and glide. In the watch, three eggs. Left of the entrance. On top. And the last one inside, on an upper level. We have 100, and for 6 more easy ones, we can go to the ancient race temples, climb each one, 6 in total, and all of them will have an egg on top. Sansi, The Wash, Badlands, Hakwa, Red Sea, and Sodic Waste. Remember that you have to do the races in order to get to the egg. As I said, there are more eggs in the world, and for an example, we have the whale with lots and lots of eggs. We can now go to Chum Lair, give the queen the last 20 eggs, and the Chum Expert achievement will pop. If you are ready with all the other achievements, go to Burnt Oak Station, interact with this spot to receive a message, and then go to Ibex Camp. Talk to Jaddy. Go to the temple and choose a mask, doesn't matter what you choose. The game will be done and you will get the last achievement, the gliding. It's ok if you do this in the middle of the game, you can always return to the save file. That's it guys, 1000 gamer score for Sable, 53 achievements. I hope it was helpful and until next time, stay frosty and extra spicy.